hope you guys are all doing well and um, you can see today we've only got one bike in the garage the believe it or not the other bikes just gone in for repairs this morning I took it in at 8 that's my wife's bike the fork seals have gone and everyone that owns a Honda every good twin knows that that just happens on a yearly basis the fork seals and uh, yeah it happens and um, when I say yearly basis I mean it really happens every year so that costs you about 2,000 rands every year just to replace the fork seals so far um, so far we are, when I say every year it's happened to my bike and now this time it's happened to Monica's bike so so it's if 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 you only own one African twin it will happen to you most probably every second year so it's not too bad but um, yeah today I'm going to take you guys on a ride we're going to test the we're going to we're going to try and show you um, the capabilities of that um, I call it the ABC car dash yeah I'm going to just give you guys a, sh a show my wife just bought one still got to mount it on her bike right it doesn't have a name this thing it's quite strange you won't find a name on this thing but this is the specific one that you must get uh, uh, under the thing it's called uh, 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 ABS I'll just put that code there maybe you guys can see the code and scan it that way it only costs about 2300 Rand it is an awesome piece of equipment right it it takes over from your navigation system which really really is a is a very very good thing and it keeps your phone safe in your pocket you can listen to your music um, you can listen to your music it's got it comes out with cameras this camera is actually meant for the back meant for the back and then it's got one small one that I put in front you can see that quality is extremely good on them extremely good for I mean really it's high 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 end quality on it and um, I can tell you the sound is shit but it doesn't really matter it it it, it goes to your headset on your Cena it pairs very very easily it's not a problem and you customize the screen according to your telephone screen and what's nice about this all right it's touch screen it's water protective uh, waterproof or, or whatever and not only that it um, basically you can put your contacts on your screen right over here so when you want to when you want to find someone it's just a press of a button with a, it's just a press of the screen there and you'll see it just just comes out quite nicely so I'm just gonna I just mounted it I had it mounted here on my on my handlebars it was just makes the handlebars too clustered and the wire management is not good you can you can you can actually um, link this to your battery but at the moment I'm linking it to USB so you got the two options so the cable management is not good but I just want to drive see how steady it is because if it does rattle like that it's not good but if you tie it down it cancels out the rattling so I'm going to see what I can do there see how it goes take a cable tie with me cable tie fixes everything and um, yeah and, and just give it a little a little test ride this morning show you guys um, and then I'll stop and 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 give you guys a little um, a little break a little breakthrough on 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 the capabilities of this another thing that it does come out with is these two wheel uh, two wheel pressure it looks like that wheel pressure things so on the screen it shows you your wheel pressure when you start everything so it's really really uh, for the price really very good price and the back the back camera is supposed to mount over here and it's actually very handy for when you're riding on the highway you put on your screen and you can actually you can actually um, you can actually keep an eye on your uh, on your back uh, your back cam if you've got a car really on your six because sometimes you can see you know you're supposed to look in the mirror but 90 percent of the time when the, the cars drive right on your ass you can't really see it uh, on your mirror and this is where this camera is a very 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 good thing so you've got now a two-way safety system on your on your back back mirrors so you've got a camera and you've got that so, like I said, you guys should really consider, especially on these old African twins, they don't come out, they've still got these old dashboards, and uh, to put in a new dashboard in South Africa is going to cost you 50000 maybe. I'm, I'm talking out of, out of just asking around, but this thing basically has everything the, the new screens have, 
almost like, I wouldn't say everything, everything like petrol consumption, stuff like that. It doesn't really have that. But uh, it has your kilometers per hour and just your basics, your wheel pressures, stuff like that. So, I mean, for, for a fraction of the price, it's a very, very good extra to add. Just going to do the wheel pressures now quickly before I ride. I'll show you guys also how I'm doing that with the Lumnia. I remember telling you guys I would, I would show you guys the Lumnia, the other product that we bought. It's also very handy. It uh, just prevents you, just makes it with the, with this combination of this thing on and the combination of the wheel pressure thing. You don't have to go to a garage straight away if you want to drive just to check your wheel pressure. So I'm going to just put that quickly on. Um, the nozzle up here for the pumping of the wheel. See, this, this nozzle actually works the best. As, uh, you get a lot of different nozzles, like weird ones that you screw on and stuff. Screw ones don't really work so well. That's a, that's a screw on one. This is the one that I'd recommend. It's a much better one. This one is already a uh, few of these like rubber components have fallen out. Um, it's the first one we bought. It works, but it's not as good as the Lumineo's one. You just, let's get down here. Push it on, just put this in here. You close it so it lets air out in the beginning. Guys, to notice here, this is not a long process. It actually it goes quite quick. Maybe, maybe one minute, one minute and a half. And once the thing is completed, it stops by itself, and you just unhook it and top it up. It's, it's quite quick, quick process. Another good thing to do is to cross-reference your thing for the first time or two. Is like um, pump your wheels up, go to the garage and check if it matches the pump, and that that way you know your your wheels are correct. Once you get to Okay, you, you can see I always make mine just the uh, uh, 5, uh, 0.5 extra just for that wind that's going to come out. But it does take that into account by the looks of stuff. Then put that in. Okay. This is a bit more effort, but believe me, it's more effort going to the garage here by us. Because we don't have a lot of garages in Oetzeren, and the waiting period is sometimes quite long. And they don't always ch check the stuff properly, so it makes it difficult. The front ones, I always put a 2.4, so I'll give it a 2.5, a 2.45, just for the pressing of this thing in, as you can see. It, 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 when you press it in, it lets it tends to let out the air a bit to down down to two point oh five. Oh well, the the wrong mode. To close it, to switch it off, you just keep the middle button pressed in again, and voila, it's off. So as you pack in your pannier always, when you drive, you never know when you're going to need it. And we always carry tire well too with us, so we got that for the wheels. Yeah, the electronics are just getting hectic, more hectic by the day. My wife just buys them all, more stuff like that. Yeah. So in, um, in about two weeks' time, my, my wife has ordered something. These, uh, this apparatus here is touchscreen. So most of your motorbike gloves also the touchscreen, but they don't really work. But you get something that um, I googled it the other day. There was a video of it. 
where you actually stick something on the finger pit, um, tips. And I've, I've read a lot of reviews and it works like a charm, so I'm going to try it out to, to get these things. Uh, we, we're bringing them in from somewhere, I'm not sure, but it, you don't get them locally. And um, you stick them onto the fingertips and you'll have your, you'll have uh, gloves that are touchscreen friendly. And this is uh, that, that Vulcan camera that I, talked, I told you guys about. So I'm just taking the uh, close up here on this apparatus as you guys can see. I've just stopped here at um, Safari. I'm going to just quickly have a, a nice cold beer. It's a nice, it's a nice day to ride actually. And I'll just show you how this thing actually works. So it's, uh, you can see it's pretty decent. Uh, you can put your, you can just press your music on and it's on. It's automatically connected to your phone which is stashed away anywhere in your bags, right? and you can see now you've got this you've got you've got to, you can choose either just to have the the map going full go by basically tapping the map it should bring it up into full spectrum as you can see there right so that that that, that, that that's now just the map if you were going you can see it's pretty decent i've got it in dark mode you can see day day mode dark mode any which way you like and you can still place your music here at the bottom if you want to place it on and like I said, I, I have already been working on the gloves, right? Uh, it's basically this funny piece of leather thing that you start, that you, um, it must comes double, uh, you know, tape, so you tape it on. But I must tell you, it's not working, it's not working as good as what they say it's supposed to work. But in any case, and now if you're tired of this screen, you can go like this. You can go back like this, and then back to the old screen, or you can go to the main menu page. So you can see now this is what i told you guys earlier um you can basically put your contacts on there you, so it's easy it's just press of the glove and you've got a quick phone call all right and um like i said i just or you want to go look at your whatsapp like i just got a i just got a whatsapp from cookie and i just tried this um whatsapp thing now i tried this whatsapp thing but the the ai is still learning my voice so so he's <laughs> okay, so that, that, that is this AI reads it. So, Tears of Joy is basically emojis that I must probably put in. When I get home, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I've actually replied already, but the AI replies funny, doesn't really understand the language 100%. But as it gets better, it, it more, becomes more fluent in everything. So, your whatsapps are there you, you don't have to press any button doing the whatsapp you can just give the commands on the phone it's pretty easy you just say what you want to say and it tries to do what it but it's like still in an infinite infant stage but the you know the technology is still going and we're still going to grow but you can see this is pretty decent the camera footage is very very good quality i'm going to see if i can take out the it's just a difficult thing you've got to put a memory stick in here a ssd card in here which has to be screwed in so every time you want to take it out, you have to basically unscrew the thing, turn it upside down, and take out the memory stick to get the to get the to get the footage. But the footage is pretty decent. I've got the the back uh, the camera that's supposed to be at the back. I haven't yet put it in the back. The wife's one is right at the back. My one is there, and the one in front, like I told you guys, right? Monica's bike is back on the road. Also, <laughs> the fork seals have been done. We're heading to um, we're heading to. Um, Buried all this weekend, 
Uh, we haven't did a nice long trip in a while. We see Saturday the weather's great. Sunday storming like hell, 60% of hard rain. So yeah, that's what, uh, what we, 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 we always do that kind of weather. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but that uh, that is basically as simple as that. And, and it's a very simple, you can see it's a very simple thing. And um, the other screen which one can put on is basically your thermometer, your, your, your speed odometer and it's 100% accurate you can see the wheel bars 2.3 at the front 2.6 at the back right so that's fine that's fine you just this this that screen is a bit glitchy so you can keep it there you can drive with your like i said you can drive with your cameras on i'll just keep the car up. i'll just keep it auto the android play the other thing is car play it's for the iphone but this one is uh this one is for the samsung phone which i've got but any android phone is going to work on this thing so it's pretty easy and you can set your settings here so it's also pretty pretty self-explanatory um you're just supposed to get out of here somehow um but in any case it doesn't matter so we're supposed to have a click here somewhere but oh uh, yeah there's a there's the arrows a bit um, hidden the arrows a bit hidden but yeah i hope you guys can see anything of this and see if the vulcan camera produces some some better footage that close on and I'm just holding it with a hand, but I've got stands that comes in with my, it comes in only a thousand rand a camera, which is pretty cheap. You don't use batteries; you just charge it via these ports here. Obviously, you're gonna it's not so gonna be very rain protective if you've got these ports open like this, but it comes in a rain covering. So you know those those plastic things that you can take it underwater. It comes in one of those things. So so that's that's the only way you'll be able to. Because this thing, if you are holding like this and it's raining, it's definitely going to be gone. But like it basically, you know, can think a thousand rand is very cheap. Yeah, so let me just put this off. Let me put, you put it off by keeping the front button in like this. If this is the front button. You just press, keep it close for a while. And it goes off and it's a Volcano 4K camera. Yeah, it's not bad actually for the price, really, not bad. And it, I mean, you can do take real decent photos with this thing, and yeah, it doesn't look like a bad piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah, the monitor's working. Uh, we, we, like I said in the last video, we, we've been working quite a lot lately um, uh, due to circumstances, but yeah, it's good. Um, I'm going to take this home now. And oh, another thing I forgot to show you guys, we just charged it. We've got this thing that goes into like a cigarette charger with a USB. So it just goes in there. It's a much more easier setup to, to put it in. So it's in and out, no problem. You can't leave it on or else it's going to drain the battery. Yeah. And with that, guys, thanks for watching. This is basically a full review on your Lumia, the air pump and the dash cam. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said stay tuned for this uh, fantastic ride we're doing to um, Barrydale where there's going to be quite weird things happening and I'll let that out on the next video. Thanks and catch you on the next one.